subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Oh, hello guys. This is Anand Kitchen. Welcome to my mathematics class. Let's see today's topic. Uh, exponential equation. So today I'm going to teach you how to solve the equi exponential equation. How to find the values of x here, values of m here. These all are exponential equation here. All okay in one number. I have taken different types of exponential equation in two number. Also we have question related with the exponential equation. All right. So let's see how to solve. I will tell you in a very simple way. We will not. Forget after watching this video how to solve the exponential equation, right? So very important this uh, this topic I have taken from grade eleven book. So very very important for the students who are studying uh, at present in class ten. Okay. Solution. One first. And the question is your 4m plus 1 upon 4 raised to power m is equal 16 whole 1 upon 16. So very simple here directly you can suppose okay of uh, putting or you write down putting 4 raised to power m is equal to a except m you can use any other variable it doesn't matter all right. So putting uh, let's suppose okay here first putting m is equal to uh, a in first we get so what we will get okay let's see okay a plus 1 upon a is equal to 16 whole into 1 upon 16 or a plus or uh, a square plus 1 upon so let's simplify this one on the left hand side uh, I have simplified I have written here a square plus 1 upon a is equal to 16 16 is like 256 here you will get 257 by 16. Now you can do cross multiplication. So after doing cross multiplication, you are going to get okay, 257 times A. So simple. Or you may write down here 16A square minus 257A minus plus 16 is equal to 0. 16, 16 is 256. So we have to break 256. So it's very easy to break, okay, 16a square, you may write 256a minus a, you know, I think, uh, so you have no problem in splitting with the term, okay, uh, or here you will get common 16a and uh, a minus 16, here one common a minus 16 is equal to 0, uh, this is 16, again I'm doing mistake in writing, or you will get, okay, 16 a minus 1 times a minus 16 is equal to 0. So listen to me, either this equal to 0 or this equal to 0, right? So either you will write down either 16 a minus 1 is equal to 0, let's suppose 2, or your a minus 16 is equal to 0, 3 number. All right. So if you give numbers, it will be easy to you handle the question. Now here from second, I'm going to write down 16a minus 1 is equal to 0. Or you are going to get here 16a is equal to 1 implies a is equal to 1 by 16. Now you can replace a. You can replace a. What is your a? a is equal to 4 raised to power m. So actually we have to find out the m, not a, right? So 4 raised to power m is equal to 1 upon 16 implies 4 raised to power m you need to convert 4 raised to power minus 2 4 raised to power minus 2 is a 16 now okay by law of indices we can write down m is equal to minus 2 because bases are same so definitely powers will be same okay right so from second we got okay now again from third from third what you can get okay a minus 16 is equal to 0 implies a is equal to 16 a what is your a a is a 4 raised to power m right and 16 again and 4 raised to power 2 m is equal to 2 so we got to get two values of m so finally you write it. so therefore m is equal to minus 2 comma 2 so easy 
so very easy okay that's simple i think okay uh, so if you watch this video so definitely you're gonna solve all these questions without any hesitation so all right Mm, so this is the one simple type of question now so if you have a question in your brain how to do it so i told this one then how to do don't panic i'm going to tell you the okay hint of these questions and how to do all right okay these are the same type of question all are same type of questions okay uh, let's see okay i think this question is clear the first question now i'm going to hint of the remaining questions i'm going to explain the all remaining questions so that you can try all these questions okay mm. Now see the second question, I'm going to explain how to write 3 raised to power x plus 3 plus 1 upon 3 raised to power x minus 28 is equal to 0. So here we directly we can't put, right? Because uh, we don't have a 3 raised to power x, okay, everywhere. So we have to bring 3 raised to power x times, we can write on 3 raised to power 3 by law of indices. So by law of indices, I, have, I think one video I have made on law of indices, you can go through that if you have a doubt. So now 3 raised to power x times 3 raised to power 3, 27. Okay, so I have plus 1 upon 3 raised to power x minus 28 is equal to 0. Or you may write down 27 times 3 raised to power x plus 1 upon 3x minus 28. Now let's say 1. Okay. Now, okay, here 3 raised to power x, 3 raised to power x. Oh, we can replace by any very simple uh, letter, okay, putting, you can write down, putting 3 raised to power x is equal to a. In first, we get, what we will get, okay, 27a plus 1 upon a minus 28 is equal to 0. And then you will take calcium, 28 is square plus 1 minus 28a is equal to 0 or 27 is square minus 28 a plus 1 is equal to 0. So I think okay, remaining portions of this question you can do just like for exactly the same method you have to apply to find out the values of x. Okay, so now I don't think okay, you have you will have any problem, right? Now, uh, this question, uh, question number third, okay, in third. We have question is 4x minus 6 into 2 raised to power x plus 1 plus 32. This is also easy, not so difficult. You can write down here because here 2 raised to power x. So let's convert 2 and here x minus 6 into 2 raised to power x into 2 raised to power 1 plus 32. So by law in this is here I forgot to write is equal to 0. Is equal to 0. And the next step you will have you may write down okay 2 raised to power x okay into 2 minus 6 to the 12 into 2 raised to power x plus 32 is equal to 0. Now let me tell you okay if we have a raised to power m into n is equal to a n raised to power m is equal to a raised to power m n. So same okay a raised to power m n or a raised to power n m is equal to you gonna get okay a raised to power m n. So that's why I have written 2 raised to power 2 whole raised to power x. I have written 2 raised to power x raised to power 2 whole raised to power 2, right? Don't say okay 2 raised to power x, x raised to power 2, not. 2 raised to power x whole raised to power 2, okay? So if we have this one, power gets multiplied right here. And m and okay gets multiplied, we get this one. That's why I have written here 2 raised to power x is uh, raised to power and whole raised to power 2 I have written. Okay, now see you can replace okay 2 raised to power x here 2 raised to power x by a simple okay variable. So pudding you may write down okay pudding 2 raised to power x let's say this is the first okay uh, a in first we have a square minus 12a plus 32 is equal to 0. So I think after this you can handle very easily. You have a no problem. You will not have any problem. Okay. Uh, so I think you understood. All right. So now no problem. Right. Let me explain remaining questions. Uh, 
Uh, question number four. I'm sorry. Just let me write down here. Yeah, this one, okay, how to do, okay. This also same type of 5 times 4x plus 1 minus 16x is equal to 64, okay. So, 5 times 4 raised to power x into 4 raised to power 1 minus 4 because they are 4x. So, you can write 4 raised to power 2x is equal to 64. Now, I think you understood just like question number 3. 4 5 is a 20 times 4 raised to power x minus and one more thing listen to it you can't multiply 5 into 4 because this is the your uh, your 4 having index 5 is only just real number you can't multiply this one we can't multiply this multiplication is not possible right here so don't think okay you don't try also to write okay 20 raised to power x you can multiply just okay right like this way you can multiply because 4 raised to power 1 means 4 so 5 4s are 20 times 4 raised to power x here so again as i told you I, as i explained okay you can write on 4 raised to power x uh, whole raised to power 2 is equal to 64 or uh, now you can because you have 4 raised to power x or uh, putting you can let's suppose okay first putting 4 raised to power x is equal to a in force or we get what you will get here 20 a minus a square is equal to 64 you will get okay a square you can shift uh, on the right hand side minus 2a plus 64 is equal to 0 now very easy so a so here i forgot to okay 20 so you can split okay 20 16 pose or 64 so 16 and 4 you will get all right so finally you can find out very easily right you can i think okay finally you can find out this also five number hey, if you have a problem you can do like this 3x minus 3 plus 3 raised to power 2 minus x is equal to 1 whole 1 by 3 hey no not so difficult okay if you get this type of question you will use the law of indices right so what are the law of indices a raised to power c m times a raised to power and you may write down a raised to power m plus n this is the first law of indices a raised to power m upon a raised to power n then you may write down a raised to power m minus n so if you have a in this form you can write down this one a raised to power m upon n a raised to power and exactly this one property i'm going to use here right so after using this property you're gonna get here 3 raised to power x upon 3 raised to power 3 plus 3 raised to power 2 upon 3 raised to power x is equal to 3 ones are 3 plus 1 4 by 3 so you are going to get okay, 3 raised to power x here 27 plus 9 upon 3 raised to power x is equal to 4 upon 3 so very easy all right so let's say this is a 1 after this you may write down putting 3 raised to power x is equal to a in force we get what you will get okay uh, 3 raised to power a so here you may write down a upon 27 plus 9 upon a is equal to 4 upon 3 or you are going to get here just a square plus okay and uh, here just to get and you multiply okay 9 times 27 upon 27a is equal to 4 upon 3 and by using calculator or um, okay mentally also you will calculate okay and then cross multiply and you will get okay uh, this type of equation this type of equation and you can factorize okay by splitting middle terms and finally you can get the values of x as i have done in the first question right in this question okay now no problem and uh, question number two is also not difficult question number two is also very easy prove that the values of x in the equation this also satisfy the equation this so very easy first of all you have to solve this one you have to solve this you have to find out the, the values of x here as we have done exactly in the same way you have to find out the values of x two values of x you will get here probably and then you have to put the values of x okay on the left hand side of this equation right on the left hand side of this equation you will get zero is equal to zero if you get only zero is equal to zero you can write only which is true then again put the second value of x whatever you get from this equation in this equation all right so again you need to get here zero is equal to zero if you get away zero is equal to zero again you can write which is true so finally you can write down hence the values of x of this equation also satisfy this equation all right so easy not so difficult
right i think okay you understood and uh, how to solve the exponential equation how to find out the values of x if we have a exponential equation now i think you can handle different type of exponential equation and you can find the value of values of x very easily i don't think okay you have a problem if you have a problem you can write down in comment box all right and uh, i would like to um, say in the class uh, 10 students keep watching videos and uh, stay connected uh, with my channel i'm going to very soon making the videos on uh, geometry of class 10 okay so geometry is very difficult one and if you stay with my channel you will be definitely benefited and definitely something you will learn about the geometry thank you very much for watching this video bye bye